Good morning and welcome to today's round of Overwatch. We are starting with an undying offlane. He is reported for feeding. Um, strangely enough, directly at the beginning. Oh no, eight minutes. Okay. I mean, it's not actively feeding. It's just uh. Slug has an enticing way for him to die. Um, with all this lockdown and slow, that's. that's uh, well, I know how hard it is to escape that. Hmm. And again, he tried and uh, failed. Also, because his team is not really where it should be. Um, we're trying to help. So by now he is kind of wandering in. I'm really not sure why he would do that. So I'm actually gonna look at the next one. Um, because uh, it, it looks more and more like he's doing it somewhat on purpose. Oh, actually he's trying his best to push and, and did TP out uh, to escape, so he is actually not doing it on purpose, so not guilty here. So yeah, the case two, there is a, a Pudge reported for scripting hacking three times, so most likely not. He looks very AFK and uh, the game is fairly even, so I'm not sure what that actually is happening. And he's just waiting around for Dazzle to kill him solo. Okay, right. And now Pudge is uh, up there. And, um. Oh, he is doing his thing. So, uh, yeah, he actually is griefing his team. Now going into case number four, we have uh, Invoker support. He is reported for griefing. And seems like he actually managed to defend the Night Stalker here. Uh, why Night Stalker is still around, I'm not sure. So this invoker really isn't bad, but it looks like he's oops, uh, picking the wrong fights. Because he died now multiple times in kind of positions where it is not too good for him. The thing is, the moment he's not getting jumped first, um, or is walking unluckily into the enemy, he actually is doing quite well and yeah he, he really is pulling his weight yeah he, he's stepping up somewhat stupidly in some situations but in most you just can't know where they really are so uh, he is not guilty now we have a last case for today Loading a bit longer, we have a Mars mid lane. He's reported for feeding. Uh, seven minutes in, Mars is actually on the top lane and Slada is mid. So maybe they ch switched up. Who knows? Okay, so Mars was AFK and now... Uh, the items are gone. Seems like destroyed because he has no money. And he actually is feeding now. I mean, at this point, Mars seems to be helping again, but he was feeding. He was AFK. Ooh. Okay. So, um, it seems like start, stop, um kills it a replay, so that would explain why in the end of the game you can't restart somewhere in the middle. Um, 
I was looking for the moment where he uh, destroyed his items, and he's dropping and destroying them up there, so uh, clearly he is doing that himself. I was thinking about him disconnecting for a few seconds, and but that also wouldn't uh, warrant to uh, sell his items or destroy them. So, yeah, he is uh, griefing his team. Well, so let's avoid the play pause button. Um, we have a Pudge reported for griefing. Uh, no intriguing ranks. And, uh, interestingly enough, uh, Anti-Mage in the opposite team. Uh, if I'm... am I right? No. In the same team, sorry. Um, also reported for griefing someday. And yeah, Pudge is 8k, somewhat looking at the lane, but... Oh, Haska also! Okay. So yeah, Pudge and Haska died, staying AFK there. Anti-Mage by now, seemingly also AFK. So he's again griefing this team. I mean, uh, Pango and Magnus are somewhat still trying, I think. But yeah, with Pudge and Huska not starting the game even, um, I guess to give up is probably the most sensible solution. 15 minutes to waste on a game with uh, three, uh, yeah, three v five is, is quite ridiculous. So um, yeah, guilty for the last case, and we will see us tomorrow. Bye.